Okay, today we are going to review a pencil sharpener. First off, this is powered by two different sources. You can either do it by battery, without breaking it now, hopefully. Batteries go in there. So, if you want to use batteries, you can. It doesn't say on it with size batteries, but I believe they're AAAs. Or you can power it from this power source, which the cord is in here, it is a USB. And it says on a little card that comes with it, as you can see, it says, thank you for your support of the Smart Row Pencil Sharpener. It is rec recommended that a 5 volt 2A adapter be used. Just tells you that if you're not satisfied with any of their products and needed to return, refund, or to contact their after sale support. So they're on the card. In this packet, this is one of the packets we have two other size pencil sharpeners. <laughs> Hold on, having minor difficulty. Okay, there they are. And then in another plastic bag, they have two more. It comes in a handy little plastic container like this, which would probably be a good idea to keep the extra things in that you don't use yet. So they don't get lost. Say this, this, and this. Oops. They're not going to be using those right now, I don't think. The blade's already in there. Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll set that back there out of the way and unhook this cord. Sorry about the shaking a few moments ago. Apparently, a kitten decided they wanted to try to climb up my stand that holds it in place. So they shake chicken a little bit. Okay, put the little plug that comes with it right in there, I believe. I hope. It doesn't fit correctly, but can you see the little spot there that doesn't go in all the way? We'll just have to see if it works. Luckily we have pencils here. Okay, first we have the colored pencils. Do I have to find a dull one in here? Oh, they're all pretty sharp. So we'll go with a regular pencil first. All pretty sharp. We'll just take care of that problem. Hold on. Look. Oh, broke off again. No end there. So put it in here. And you can see blood's coming back. And it is sharp again, as you can see. Very sharp point. Didn't take much to sharpen it at all. Now we'll go for another colored pencil. I'll just break off the tip this time. So I'll show you. Once again, where is the camera? No tip on there. Broke it, of course. Put it in here. There it is. There it is. There we go. It is sharp again, as you can see. So, pencil sharpener puts all of its scrapings into here. So you can just pull them out. Probably supposed to show the power before I do this, but you know, I don't listen very well. So we get rid of that. Okay, and in there it's also where you would take the blades out to change them, as you can see. They're hooked in there at the time being. But we have two replacements for each one. They work quite well. Sharpened with no problem at all, as you can see. Much easier than trying to do a handheld sharpener repeatedly and getting nowhere, or the pencil sharpener not working. We have another colored pencil. Hunter Green, no lead. I'm sure you heard me break it in the background. Put it in there. Cut about six, ten seconds. Pull it out. We got a sharp pencil again. And like I said with the regular pencil, I guess I'm cracking it. I'm busting it behind you. If you look at the end, where's the end? There we go. You have no lead at the end. I busted the whole thing off. Put it back in. 
And we got a very sharp pencil again. I think that was in less than, at least in less than 10 seconds. I wouldn't really complain about that. And we'll introduce you to my little friend. She's about the size of the pencil sharpening box. Come on, say hi to the camera. Say hi. Meow, meow. Say, I'm five weeks old. Okay, we're going to cake it down now. So, that was the pencil sharpener for you. Obviously, the plug was not in all the way, but it does still work just fine. As you can see, there you go. Plug it doesn't go in all the way, but it works fine. It does not come with the batteries, but it does come with the USB cord. No plug-in for the wall, but everybody has USB plug-ins for the wall. So, I would say this is a pretty good thing. Saves you a lot of headache with pencil sharpeners. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a wonderful day. If you would like to purchase it, there is a link at the bottom that you can go through to purchase it. And for anybody who is commenting on the fingernails, it is Broadway Gel Strong, and its color is Chalice. Just because multiple people commented on it, I thought I would let them know what it is. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy your day.